Ladies and gents, welcome back to the Don't Call Me White Girl podcast. To the right of me, I have Phelps looking clean, fresh off an Eagles win. I told Phelps he looks like a 90s sitcom guy that always says something witty and sarcastic. How Kyle was on Living Single, like that. He looks like the guy that every time he talks, the laugh track plays like, because <laughs> he's so witty. Don't he look so clean? Say hi to Phelps. Let's get Phelps, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, but if I I I, I need the sarcasm. You know, I felt it. It wasn't sarcasm. Phelps is being spicy. We had a wild day. Um, I was a little late, like seven hours. <laughs> Overslept. Had a wild weekend. My girl Juice is in the building. What's up, Juice? What up? What up? Y'all don't even know Juice's real name. And guess what it is? Shaquita. That's where the Shaquita thing comes from. I have a, a array of protein pops. I've been eating these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let me see. So that's that. Um, I was just telling the folks, Dre's here too. Say hello, Dre. I'm always an afterthought. Show us what gets about me. Yeah. Dre's such a Scorpio. Sad. Um, yeah, but um, these Eagles fans are fresh off an of Eagles win. Um, how's it feel, fellas? We're going to the Super Bowl. That's what I heard. Feels good. Not yet. Woo woo. It's good. Yeah. We winning. It's good. As long as we. It's always good. As long as you win. As long as we keep winning. I'm a, listen. I'm a huge sports fan. When we win stuff, like I'm when all about it. <laughs> Like when we went stuff, we had parades. I'm out there. You know what I mean? Woo woo, going crazy. I don't yeah. keep up with the games, the points, the players. No, but when we win stuff, I'm out there. You know, it's a good job. And I'm a diehard Eagles fan, Flyers, Phillies, Sixers, nigga, Kids and Crackheads, Sixers, whatever. Right? I'm a big sports fan. Shout out to the Cow Bums. <laughs> Shout out to the cow bums, you bunch of fucking losers. I recently found out that the cowboys are robberies. I never knew that. And you know what I thought? Just as she says, he's a diehard fan. <laughs> Whatever. You know what I thought about Just it? Let her go, man. This the thing. Why, if you live in the Philadelphia region, would you ever be a Cowboys fan? You hate her. And you know, Eagles fans are infamously known as psychopathic, murderous, assaulting, drunk. Ass people, white, black, Spanish is all the same. Yeah, that's when the city like unite. We don't, we not, we don't be, we don't. It, white niggas and black niggas become one, and that, it get dangerous. It get oh, dangerous. Shit up. I yeah. love Phelps. White niggas and black niggas, and that's it what dangerous. it is. White niggas and black niggas yeah. together in green glory. Yeah, the Eagles yeah. are going to the motherfucking Super Bowl. Get ready, bitches. Don't right. Jesus. No, what's going to happen? Mm-hmm. The one time I did watch sports is the time when the Sixers almost won. And Irison was taking it for us. And I baked the Sixers, the Sixers the cake. My mother told that on the podcast because she doesn't care about embarrassing. <laughs> I baked Alan Irison, a.k.a. Bubba Chuck, a cake. Then I met this nigga in the mall in Virginia, and he looked at me like I was COVID. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm from over there, shorty. What's up? Very nasty guy, Alan Irison, but still love him. Love him a lot. The goat. It's horrible watching this disgusting display of justice or lack thereof with this YSL case. It came out that somebody passed Jeffrey Drugs in court. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> did he really pass him in court? Of course not. Nah, it it's didn't happen. Oh. It's all a lie. Because they're railroading this black man. Mm-hmm. And you motherfuckers letting it happen. Y'all ain't trying to march. I want to march. We march for Meek. <laughs> we march for Meek, you know? It's hard being a Young Thug fan up here because y'all don't care like it's y'all should care. I'm that bitch on his sister's live saying, free thug. Say unison. <laughs> <laughs> because we in sync. Because mm-hmm. we've been fucking for so long. When you fuck somebody the amount of times me and Phelps are fucked, <laughs> we do things at the same time. You wouldn't be talking to me like this, how you be talking to me if you really was catching this joint. Mm. Mm. Spicy. Mm. Spicy mm. today. I like when daddy talk like that. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> you went off on this boy. Okay? We just like. If you wonder why I have glasses on, it's because I too, Shakita, look horrible without lashes. Listen, it's a real thing. <laughs> a lot of us, we have adapted these caterpillar lashes, and the sad part about it is now your ugly ass can't go back. I look like a white possum rat something with a tail in a cage without lashes and i'm woman enough to accept it so when i couldn't get lashes guess what i did 
Put my hater blockers on, right? Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to spare y'all of that. Just like the selfie thing. Remember we had a conversation about selfies recently? We had a conversation because I personally think if you ugly, you shouldn't take them. And it's like the gauge of knowing if you ugly. Knowing yourself. Mm -hmm. Knowing do you need a filter, right? Mm -hmm. It's nothing wrong with knowing that you a little ugly. I, and backing that thing up. Catching your, you know, your glimpse. Getting your shit I think, right. Um, eyelashes might change a woman's appearance just as much as makeup do. Like when when she take makeup off and then she leave the eyelashes on, it ain't no it's the when the eyelashes come off, that's the real mitt. You hear me? That's for real, for real. When when, when a, you you go back with a woman after the, the the end of the night and she watching all that shit off, especially if you just married, you be sitting there like, please. And then she pulling them lashes off, you like, oh my god. When she turn around, you just praying it's still close to something. You'll see more of a dramatic change with no makeup and somebody with lashes versus makeup and no lashes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the lashes, they... And that's I mean, another thing. Lashes. That's the bottom line. Women... Why are we still talking about it? <laughs> you why, know what I mean? I women, said it. What, uh, another thing, too, when women say, oh, I'm all natural, da, da, da. Don't, you, don't they still be all natural with fake lashes? They just don't have makeup on, right? I'm most of the time... Some of the time, natural, yeah. Sure. Like their hair. You get like you get like strips, or you get it like actually put on each individual lash. Three hour process. Mm -hmm. It's like now, surgery. The girl I go to now, we have an hour thing. She's a she has a whole different kind of technique. It's very rare, but most of the time it's a two to three hour thing. You lay in there, even with a fill. Shit, yeah, an hour and a half for the fill. I mean, this there, this girl is taping your eyelids in a certain position. Mm -hmm. After she lays you there, cleaning your lashes, then she's separating them with tweezers, putting a lash extension on each lash. Mm. You know how small lashes are? Yes, women go through I'm a aware. lot. Majority of women, women are getting lashes, hair, right? Makeup. Some of them getting sun tans, anal bleaching, motherfucking body sculpting. Frozen lipo, lipo, you know, without the waxing, getting some waxing, cool sculpting. Mm -hmm. Why? Bitches going Everything. through it because that's just. I just think that's just a part of this thing with girls. And I remember me like, I feel my freest when I don't have nothing going on. It's like, and now being that I see people all the time, I can't really do that. I have to have at least a lash and my hair to a certain, and I have to have mm -hmm. nails for real. Like I can remember not having nothing and being like. Oh, I'll get to it. And times have changed because when I'm first in Adele, it wasn't this thing of you go to the MUA and you don't have anything to do. A woman will go get her makeup done to go to the mall right now. Or go get her makeup done to go to right. a lounge. A fucking Before, you could see a bare-faced woman in a club and be a normal thing. For sure. Yeah. Now, when you see that girl that don't wear makeup, she stands out. It's like, where the fuck is she going? Mm -hmm. It almost like fucks <laughs> up your outfit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I feel like I drag my feet with the makeup thing because me personally, I don't think makeup makes me look better. Like, I think it makes my face all like, cl cl like crazy. You know, like it gives yeah. you a little bumps. Dense yeah. Yes, it gives, it just. You see everything. Me, little gloss with a lash, maybe concealer. And what Perfect. concealer is, concealer gets. So let's say you have brown skin but a dark mark. Concealer will conceal that. Make it look even. Yeah, mm -hmm. like for me. That's you know how my eyes are always dented in? Concealer will brighten them because it'll fill them in. Really? And it's even with my eyes. It's like, Same. I don't have dark eyes because I am didn't get any rest. I have dark eyes because we all look like that. On my father's side, you see my family. We look mm -hmm. like that. For sure. <laughs> Tell your story. You laughing. Is something funny, nigga? You hide from the camera, not me. I ain't hide, motherfucker. I got some shit in on my. I know this nigga's gonna give me drama. How many times have we seen this black Negro up here with shades on? We filming at 2 p.m. He's seven blunts in, shot a henny with sunglasses on. Eye protection is important. My grandma worked for the eye center. She told me that. That's bullshit. He's going to do it for the eye center. But he's wearing them glasses because he's too cool for school. Why can't I do it? I thought about putting these sunglasses on for two this hours. Is a and now that I'm here, this it's whole time, like... Time, 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 time. This is not for fashion. This is prescription, buddy. You know this. I did not mention nothing about his um, Dwayne Wade's. I was talking about his Versace's that he wears. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shout out to my nigga Court. I've been on live with Court a lot. Court from the Special Needs Podcast. Right? Shout out to them. Hey! Shout out to the realest podcast ever. My niggas, Matt. My nigga, Chad. My nigga, Chad, help me down. I don't know if y'all heard. They gave me the key to the city and they named it Broad Street, Demona Street. <laughs> Did y'all hear about that? 
Mm-mm. What the city of Philadelphia is doing for me? Dre. For sure. Place it here, baby. For Mona Love. Dre giving me shit. My, <laughs> com- my entertainment name became Mona Love because I would have so many different pages. One of my pages, the bio said Mona Love for no reason, really. You know, his last name, first name, you just making shit, shit up. Yeah. yeah. And then it's stuck and it's so crazy. But then people hear it, they're like, Mona Love, what's that? But it's like, I don't want to use my last name like y'all do on Facebook. <laughs> Weird bitches. Um, but, you know, I wanted so to do what, like a Mona thing. So but what, yeah, Philip is honoring me. Yeah, what Nobody like, cares in this room, which is crazy. Yes, what? I couldn't read the print. Was, the well, way it was set up. I knew was, he didn't care the most out of everybody he didn't care for. <laughs> I know him. The moment, first of all, you you going she she talks about like oh Phelps won't she don't always individually say look Phelps did it I click it and catch it like a regular nigga so I treat it like a regular nigga what Daddy, you know you ain't look she ain't she ain't denied because she would have said no that's not <laughs> that's my point so if I catch it like how a regular nigga catch it it's small print you know I can't see the shit anyway I'm like come well, on bro sweetheart. I would literally, as I'm watching it, I don't mean to cut you off. In my mind, you know what I'm thinking? Yo, for me to read this, I'm going to have to screenshot it all the zoom time. That shit what in. you should have did. Zoom that what shit you in. Should, I'm not worth a screenshot and a zoom in? What are we talking about? I'm not worth it. Just telling me what, what, mm. what it was. Well, let me tell you now. Congratulations to my later. baby. Congratulations. Thank you, Juice. Thank you You're so me. much for caring. <laughs> wow. I posted it. Um, The city of Philadelphia is doing something for black history, honoring living legends. And they are honoring me, Demona, aka Don't Call Me White Girl. They're also honoring uh, Chad and Matt from the Realest Podcast ever. They're honoring, I think, Mikey Raw or Ikey Raw. And they're, it, but either way, it comes through City Hall. It's from the city of Philadelphia. It's a big fucking deal. That's why they were using words like "we're ass." Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This big, this big deal. And the thing about it is, they're honoring everybody. Shout out to Chad for working closely with. The district of somebody and somebody else. Big deal, people. <laughs> and I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my motherfucking heart. And they're going to have a whole event in City Hall. But sidebar, they were like, look, we are honoring all those people. But Demona, we also would like to name a street Demona Street and give you this key to the city of Philadelphia. So that's sidebar. Congrats. Congratulations. Congrats. Sidebar, yes. <laughs> But um, cut that out, Dre. But um, so it's I'm a living legend. That's what I am, and I would like to be referred to as such. I really enjoy it. I do feel very legendary every day. Um, this is a big deal. It's good to be recognized by Philly. Philly is a rough city. They are not very loving to everybody that comes out of that city, you know. And you know, it's just amazing to be me and to be honored. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for joining me on the podcast. See you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> Psych. It's one in the morning. We're very tired. Okay. I'm, I'm good. I want to talk about I'm good. I, I want to I'm, I'm talk about that in a second. Why well, Phelps is ridiculous in that way. Um, but just bring me back to that point. It was a couple of white couple, right? Their house was raided. They found out they were molesting their kids and selling their kids to like other people. Text saying stuff like, I just my son or do you want to come my son they said they were, they were making 7500 to 10,000 weekly like they went through these niggas bank records okay that's crazy now these are two men that are married with adoptive boys when i first saw it you know the first thing i thought i thought it was fake listen people give me shit about this all the time they call me stupid when things are like so shocking to me yeah. i always think it's you not always, real yeah. because it's like no way this a human is doing this you know what i mean also, when it comes to sensitive topics like gay marriage or gay married people adopting children, mm-hmm. it's a lot of um, hoopla put out about it, hate mail. You know what I mean? Just mm-hmm. bullshit. What am I looking for? What word am I looking for? Um, you said it. No, it's, it's what's the word Propaganda. from? No, it's the same. Like let's say when it's two campaigns going against each other. And they'll put out like bullshit about each other. Propaganda. Propaganda. Propaganda is good. Yeah. So you'll see stuff like that. And with that, that's a perfect story. That's a perfect story for the narrative of kids shouldn't be adopted by gay couples. Mm-hmm. And God damn it. Yes, they should. Y'all don't give a fuck about them children. Just like you fucking nuns that stand in front of the motherfucking abortion clinic. I didn't shove the nun. On the way to get me an AB, bitch, you gonna get out this way. I got this 750. You gonna mind your motherfucking business, I'm gonna get this AB. And you heard it here first. If you're pregnant and you don't want that baby, get rid of it. 
Like, we're not going to play this game about no other bullshit. Nobody's going to help you with that goddamn baby mm. if you don't want to get rid of them. You ain't got to make a video talking about you killed babies. People so, like, extremely insensitive to the subject. I don't think you have to be either or. You don't have to be anti-abortion and you don't have to be, um, oh, I killed that nigga baby. You know, punchline and raps and shit. I don't think it's that type of game to play with because you know what they say, y'all. Child, they say when you get up there with Jesus, all them children you got rid of, you waiting up there with them. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Explain it. And they the age they supposed to be. Imagine a motherfucker 30 years old asking you, I was, why I never made it down here. Jesus named me Dwayne. You know? <laughs> I wouldn't imagine it being. I have a lot way. of abortion jokes, but I don't put them in comedy shows. Juice loves all my nasty ignorant jokes. But no, really, I'm pro abortion. If you religious wise, you don't feel believe in abortion and all that, then don't have one. Don't have one, Bobby. But it's like as far as like getting a woman that's had one, no. You find them in dumpsters. You you make abortion legal. You know what happens? Women get illegal abortions and they die on tables mm-hmm. trying to get rid of a baby. How do we get up to abortion. I don't know. Where were we? Where were we? We're talking about the gay the dudes gay and the pedophilia thing. Because <laughs> you know why? Because I believe that this is an occurrence that does not happen a lot. Mm-mm. And instead of us like totally, you know, on this horrible thing with these demon ass white boys that are demons, I'd rather say that let these gay motherfuckers adopt these children because y'all don't fucking want them. Especially when they're adopting kids that are at the age where nobody adopts. Because mm-hmm. people adopt a baby, mm-hmm. right? But they're not adopting no nine year old. Mm-hmm. And these motherfuckers growing up to snatch purses is terrible. The foster care system in this country is terrible. You you are you are at more danger once you're a foster care than less. No, what kind of fucking sense that make? Mm-hmm. But you know it's horrible. They demons. It's terrible. I think I feel like with that. I wonder how much time they're facing because people get charged with sexual porn and this and that and they get a year or two. Big Meek's still sitting in prison about some cocaine. He ain't even got a homicide on his shit, I don't believe. You know? I think that the the the, the I think that the crime shit, the punishment shit fit the crime in a way of when you assault a kid like that, and it's the same thing with rape of a woman or rape of a man. There's no way to get rid of that damage. So, okay, you killed a person, collectively damaged, that person is gone, right? But when you kill, when you do that to a person, you just permanently da- damage them. So it's like, we don't know the gauge of how mm-hmm. far this damage will go. Yeah. Especially when you're talking about kids. Mm-hmm. These kids groom to have sex with, groom to, to, to sell their bodies or to have yeah. sex with yeah. them. It's crazy. Yeah. Not, not to mention if they have kids, you know what I mean? What should the punishment be? They should kill both of them motherfuckers. They should take them out, line them the fuck up, and knock their heads off. That's what they should do. Or they should decapitate them. Or at least castrate them. Yeah, America don't be, they don't be on their... Uh, That's cutting the penis off if you don't know at home. Mm-hmm. We know what they do. You don't know how to use that motherfucker, you lose that motherfucker. They didn't let me make the laws. <laughs> think about it. It's like, when you think about in the, in the eye, eye of crime... You get caught with a certain amount of drugs, you are in trouble. I have never heard a motherfucker say, he held me down and made me smoke crack. No, I went back to the crack man 20 times so my paycheck was gone because I like crack, nigga. So why the fuck is he about to do 10 years for bribe me a service? Mm. God damn it, where would I get my crack if he wasn't around? Where would... Oh, you know, I don't even like I said just on camera. I had a good one. I had a good one, but I don't know if we can say it on camera. But I, I should say it on camera anyway because I know Dre will cut that out. I'm getting a little hyper off this tea. Story is sad because it's just like that shit is so disgusting. premeditated. Like, mm-hmm. rape, yeah, that's like is. rape is one thing, but then to like adopt kids with the plan in mind to then do and that sell them, and that selling that them is. like yeah. that's that shit go deep. And it's just crazy that there is a market for that too. Like. Yeah. To do that, mm-hmm. this shit is crazy. I want them to track down you know, every motherfucker that spent with them. Yeah, Word. For everybody sure. need to go. Word. For sure. Thanks. If you can track down the money, you could. Yeah, you can. You can. You tell me on average how much this motherfucker getting. You can say who y'all got the, the phone money. records mm-hmm. and shit. Yeah, yep. everybody need to go to jail in situations like this. But jail, jail, like twenty years. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I watched this for a program with a man that liked kids. He was sexually attracted and got, I don't know what the word is, worked up when he yeah. saw kids. It was him and his wife on Dr. Bill. Mm. 
And she her whole thing was, well, he doesn't act on it. He just <laughs> what? Yeah. It's a thing. It's crazy to me. Like when I think about you like that, but it's like to me, when you have that kind of like taste for something like that, we have to get you. We gotta kill you. Because we don't they're the they're, that's the most innocent people and, and, and all yes. of all of us, all of mankind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nothing more innocent than a baby. Mm-hmm. An old person has shot a gun before. Had a, even if they're a little frilly, mm-hmm. you could do things to them. But they have lived a certain life and they know certain shit. Mm-hmm. Right? Old motherfucker gets to that night, he can defend himself. He's going to poke you yeah. up. You know what I mean? So you, a don't, baby, be, you a kid, don't believe that there's no rehabilitation for no. that? Mm-mm, mm-mm. You cannot go through therapy or... Uh, you can't. I don't give a fuck. Uh, you mm-hmm. just can't. Like, there's no way you can. And I also feel like just because you have the taste for that and you don't act on it don't mean you ever you will never act on it. Right. Yeah. So, okay, what takes people out of their minds, right? Drugs, alcohol. Okay, drugs are illegal. Alcohol isn't. So if you get pissy drunk, are you going to grab a kid in the market? You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. You at some type of restaurant that has um, an eating part portion is children in the same spot that you're drinking brews. Now you end up in that bathroom with a kid and right. you're drunk, but you mm-hmm. like kids. Mm-hmm. The fuck? I just yeah. don't get that. But that's the thing about all that shit. That's why when you go to jail, people fuck with you. If you're in girl jail and you kill the baby or kill the kid, they'll fuck with you. Mm-hmm. I was in jail. Um, I was in Lackawanna County and the girl had killed her baby because she was out smoking all night, left the baby home. It was like three months, five months. When she gets home, the baby won't stop crying. She's sleeping, coming down off crack. She takes the baby, slams this nigga, kill him. Mm. And niggas tortured this bitch. She couldn't get nothing to drink without smiling. Remember you killed your baby, bitch? It was it was mm. intense. Like all because you in jail with women that don't have their kids. Right. Can't get to their yeah. kids. Yeah. Wish they kids. could call nobody answering. Right. They can't talk to their kids. Gave their kids up, whatever. People really hate you. I was like, with this other girl, she's from DC. And she had put her child in like hot water and it killed her. Mm. It burned the baby and it killed her. It's just like I don't know. It's just but that's but then you, it brings me back to the abortion thing. You know what I mean? Right. If you don't put these women in these situations, not saying that they're right, but you don't have that that issue as much. Mm-hmm. People getting rid of their babies in the dumpster, not treating, not taking care of their babies. Like I just watched something about a girl. She she starved her stepdaughter. Her stepdaughter was five years old, and I think she died at like twenty pounds. She was five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that's crazy. Bummer. Let's move on from that. But um, I'm gonna watch and pay attention what they do to the white boys because. If they get off, then that means we got to march. Or burn shit down, go to the house or whatever. I want some vigilante shit. Yep, you know what I mean? What's wrong up. with that? I'm with you. I ain't going to hold you. I should have been around cowboy Indian time. Back when we used to walk with the other nigga like that. One, two, three. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I would have been one, two. I'm hitting on two. Man, right. <laughs> this nigga went in three. I'm hitting on two. I just hit this nigga up <laughs> in the middle of the town square. <laughs> um, What else did I want to talk to you fucks about? Um, I see all of y'all watch those documentaries I told you to. You're welcome. Because I'm great at documentary choosing. In fact, I'm gonna keep giving you documentaries. Next documentary assignment is made off. Did I already talk about made off? It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's really long, so you need to watch it anyway. And it's really, really good. And from now on, Phelps has to watch it as well. Because if you notice, Phelps always gets quiet around these times. And then that's it. Real fast. Young Miami podcast to talk about getting peed on. But Trina. Can we please lay off the doo doo and the pee pee? I'm tired of it. Yeah, okay. Doo doo, pee pee, yogurt, green tea. It's all too much for me. You know what I mean? Let's keep shit regular. Lipton. Lipton. Yeah. Doo doo and listen, Drews. What's with a nigga 10 years ain't doo doo around him? I ain't doo doo at all. Yeah, that's correct. My niggas don't even know about doo doo, bro. Right. They don't know. So why are we talking about doo doo on people? Now listen, of course it's a market to get pissed on and shit on, on a freaky tip. Cool. But why are we come on now? Mm. You got one of the biggest rappers in the game. And with a podcast talking about getting peed on, and all your yes, girl, I've been getting peed on. Girl, your baby, you taking a shower with your baby five and him peeing on your feet. Ain't nothing to talk about. And it wasn't on purpose. He just dirty. Okay. Not to mention half you niggas let me drink water. You're not pissing Hennessy and baby back ribs on my feet. Like, that's disgusting. Y'all bitches are so cop. Y'all are so copycat. It's just yeah. disgusting. Mm-hmm. And it's so crazy because the whole spit thing with Meek said it. Then everybody was getting like, it's like, if you do, you know, he spits in your mouth. He pees on you. Whatever. Why are we talking about it every day on the internet? It's just like, girl, y'all, dirty. y'all so dirty. Mm-hmm. Y'all so dirty. <laughs> and then you think that's cute. Oh, I've been getting peed on hashtag gold shower. Girl, shut up. 
Shut up. That is not yes. cute. That nobody that ain't nothing to talk about, write home about. And for real, for real, I'm gonna be honest with you, like bitches just be lying. Cause my, my niggas, they tell me the wild nasty shit that really go on. How many on. niggas that say that they peed on a bitch I and she never enjoyed it? Exactly. 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 I ain't never heard that. I can remember watching R. Kelly. And niggas ain't got no shame. I was going to say, and if that's the case, a lot of people wouldn't have been surprised at R. Kelly. It was huge. When that shit came out, it started talking. And guess what I used to remember thinking? Because if you watched the video like I did, Mm -hmm. before it was child porn, because then it became child porn, you had to get it out your house. When the video, when he pees, it goes down in her vagina area. And all I could think of was, oh my gosh, she's going to have yeast infection. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if that was the young girl on that clip, even though I think it was. The goddamn it, I was 15 watching it, but I was mortified by it. Yeah. Whatever it is, oh God, it, y'all make me so sick. The one girl was like, come pee, whatever. It's like, I'm so a, this nigga just, but, all on you, what the exactly. fuck? Yeah, and, up with y'all? and that's my whole thing. I'm not, like, girl, I'm not up. into it, but it's not, it's not pee. Like, once you start doing that, it's not sex involved. You want some, yeah, out of, exactly. yeah, that's, like, you kink, kink that's not sex, bro. That's that bullshit. kink shit. Like, that's not, Keep that over there. You feel me? Biggie Smalls talks about shitting on a bitch's first album. You know, ha ha, funny, funny. Do I think it happens? Yes. I just think y'all corny for saying it mm-hmm. after you hear Young Miami yeah, say it. Cause y'all it's not corny. As, yeah. She's an Aquarius the way she said that girl ain't lying. That's something she into. Fine. But why do all y'all got to be into it after she into it? Mm-hmm. The, the bitch, the, the legend, the diamond princess that said, I'm going to make it rain, girl. He's a golden shower. Looks at her like, fuck no, I don't do that shit. And she read that shit. That's a classic, Katrina's, when she talks about, right. mm-hmm. is that, you know, my pussy is a rose. Come a little closer. I want to fuck your nose. <laughs> if you wanted, you can That's get it. Joke. Let me hit it. Let me get yeah. it. What verse was that? Look back at it. I'm an oh. addict. Yeah, look back at it. Look back at it. Oh. She right? She okay. right? <laughs> I, be, I done heard look back, back at, at it. it forever. I better not never know the words of them verses. Niggas is tripping. <laughs> yeah, she say go on shower. Here's a go. But at the end, she said, I want to fuck your nose. But that's real shit because when you're trying to come and a nigga knows right there, you might have screwed up on it. Mm-hmm. Just to we'll talk it. about that later on the ride home, babe. But um, yeah, you know, whatever. Y'all all cornballs. Just wanted to let you know that corny ass copycat ass I yeah. get peed on ass bitches ain't nobody right. never peed on you but your nasty baby five only peed on your feet when you was in the tub yeah. that time. he was drunk a little bit they need pee on the other bitch feet too so don't feel special moving on okay I watch first of all when I did the No Jumper interview people in the comments seemed like they were introduced to me No Jumper Adam 22 my nigga what's up okay people in the comments didn't know me and they were like oh I like her she's pretty cool but a lot of them kept saying yo she should do the Sharp Tank she should do the Sharp Tank Sharp Tank is a nigga that's from the P game, allegedly. Pimping, you know what I'm saying? Getting the money. Um, but he has a podcast. I, I first caught, uh, um, he first caught my attention when they did, it was a white boy that went viral for saying he was a pimp named Kelpie the Pimp. He goes on a podcast with Sharp and the other guy who is a P, allegedly. They talk to him, they feel really, they they, they refer to it as blackface. That's how disrespected they felt by this white boy pretending to be a pimp because that's mm-hmm. their culture, you yeah. know. He trying to talk certain shit, say certain shit, you know, and they felt offended by it. Had an interview, second interview, of course, everybody watching went viral. They whoop, he whoops his ass for calling him a bitch. Mm-hmm. Um, you seen that, right? Sharp didn't get punched no, Sharp on her, right? Like, Sharp wasn't even but he was It was this, the, the guy from boy. the Sharp interview, the other interviewer, they had a re, another interview. Because Sharp even said he wouldn't even have told him to do it because he already knew Young Boy was getting pissed at the whole situation. So I heard something about that Young Boy. So I, the China <laughs> man, you heard about that? Um, I don't know because the young boy I'm talking about, I believe his name was Almighty Savage. So who, the, what I heard was, and I, my and my man's he not even like the internet type bull, so that's why I feel like it might be kind of true. He was like the nigga that punched on the bull. Mm-hmm. I think China Mac and him got into it, and China, China Mac did one but one of them, but not him. Oh, it wasn't him. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, no, but but China Mac said to him like I want to fight, and they fought. They met up before, so it was some real nigga shit. Yeah, because they said they was gonna do it, and they did it. <laughs> nigga said China Mac was bad hype with a fight. Like yeah, I want to fight it after. The Fight was explained like, yeah, I ain't like what you ain't like. Like, they ain't show the fight, but he got punched on the You apparently. know, the main chubby boy that's always there that's what China might for it. I heard of him, but I don't know. They said his name JD or something. Jay I'll something. Find him for you, but I don't mean no, it's too many of them niggas. You know him though, because he's the one that's always with Adam going viral. It's a shorter brown skin guy. I know the short little brown skin dude. Yeah, that's what Rumble China man. You lying. Well, sure. The nigga with no mustache. He's a the blood. be with the white girl. He might be a crimp. He don't even know white boy. I'll show you. But anyway, so look. No jumper got a lot of motherfuckers over there on the low. The Sharp Tank, everybody like, yo, 
we got to see her on Sharp Show. We got us on Sharp Show. I watch Sharp. I'm like, no way. <laughs> like, we wouldn't make it five minutes. He get. I see clips of girls calling him a bitch. He cuss him the fuck out. He has a personality like mine. We real aggressive. I think I'm changing my mind. I might reach out and do the sharp take. I want to meet the nigga. I like him a little bit. He's a little cute nigga, too. You know what I mean? Are you done with that candy? <laughs> I used to be a pimp myself. So listen, this is the kicker. Krishan. Make your editing fucked up, Dre. Krishan and Blueface. Oh no, jumper! Did you see it? Mm -hmm. Did you see it? Yep, she had no, a see it. She kicked I him off with the, the TV and everything. She was, yeah, she snapped. Listen, let this be the reasoning behind. Stop asking me, can this girl come on the show? Stop asking me. You ask me every week. It's never happening. She's never coming on my podcast. It's never gonna work out. Like, yeah. imagine her kicking Drake camera. Mm. I Not think even Dre will fuck around swing on that bitch. Dre all takes standing these cameras serious. <laughs> we all standing up. That, it'd, be, it'd be too much. She's pissy drunk. Mind yeah. you, this nigga Sharp is like ruthless. He's being kind of nice. And I feel like the part of me was like, is he, being, is he a bitch? Yeah, because it's yeah, like, yo, yeah, you I be turning up saying. on these other yeah, bitches, these right. poor bitches and all that. But no, what it is is he got love for Blueface. That's yeah. Blueface bitch. So sidebar, Blueface is a motherfucking Aquarius. Yep, sure he is. I First I day. I like that nigga. I like he said him. that. January, February. Yeah. January. First day. Cheeseless, but still <laughs> <a real. laughs> You know what I mean? And he looked good as a muff, bust down body. He's a nice, you know, I'll do it to him. That's somebody, if I went to LA and I met somebody like that, I would fuck him. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Gangbanger. <laughs> Being a video. Throwing the setup and shit, I don't even know what it means. Gang. <laughs> Why the morning keep wearing blue? Because I'm fucking a crip. <laughs> <laughs> it's only funny because it's true. Um, sidebar. So they go on the show. She being wow, disrespectful, but she drunk as shit. Like, why is that so appealing, yo? And this is what I will say about this lady. Whatever it is, people love it. It's a draw. And I hate the fact that people had this whole real bad habit of calling them people stars. That's not what that is. Mm -hmm. Like you, when you see something like that, you never seen it before. It's like an infatuation, but that shit die off quick. It's tiring, rub your face. Mm -hmm. But in a different day and time, because it's like. You can be famous, kids, or you can be infamous. It's up to you. Yeah. Both right. ways, a lot of people won't know you. Right. But that infamy shit, it's hard to rise above that and make that into a continuous dollar. Mm -hmm. People live at you, with you, whatever, for a little bit. Then that shit burns out. And the thing about it is, to live like she living, where you going place to place, embarrassing yourself, you got to stay drunk. Yeah. Because everything in you that's right and good is telling you to stop doing that. Right. So you got to fight it. I don't think it's cool. When I was a young girl running around, God forbid I was on camera. This is just how this shit is mm. now. But when I see it, it's painful to me. Yeah, it makes sure. me feel for her. I feel like, damn. But this shit on No Jumper made me like, yuck. Like, she was just so nasty the whole time. It was like, yo, why? And it's like... Having an interest in seeing her do these interviews, you're not answering no questions. You being rude, they gotta keep asking you, whispering, y'all all hugged up. Like, you niggas is weird. I'm never doing that for this camera, for nobody else. I'm never gonna have to even if I'm talking to a bitch or a nigga and I'm trying to pull, 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 and not get in here, it's a wrap. Right. Like I, I, I feel for the time it happens here, but it's over. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like, like it's that. over with. You think that's really them or it's Mr. I'm I'm gonna practice the cold shoulder guess and see how you react to it. Like, I mean, yo, listen, <laughs> I'm gonna try a little bit. Yeah. But then it's over with. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say, hey Dre, that's it. We got enough. Just like that, right in front of your mouth. <laughs> um, what'd you say, Dre? Do you think that's really them or is it performative? I think they're drunk. They're, yep. I think that Blueface has That's a goal. It. I think Blueface is in it. Now that I know he's an Aquarius, I know what's up. Do he love her? Yes. He'll forget about her tomorrow. He'll give a fuck about her. They ain't got no kids. Now, if this nigga really have a baby, that's going to be different. Because now she's saying she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. See, now she was pregnant. I watched this bitch fight three people Fire. overnight. Right. Just yesterday. Since the pregnancy. And now like, this nigga been pregnant what? for 24 hours. seen a farm with three people. It's like, girl, get rid of that baby. You ain't ready for that baby. Get rid of him. Is yeah. she pregnant? Of course she is. Why not? They fucking. Right. He, she dropped the sex tape. She fucking him. The dick all yeasty everybody talk about this girl she got a yeast infection it's just embarrassing 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 it's like go get her you know what i'm saying yes it's not cute and then it's like the, the yeast infection how old are they on only not only that but it she's was, it was like a i don't know how old jonathan is but she's like 24 maybe they, they, they younger yeah. though right they yeah she young yeah. kids yeah. but it's like yeah. it was a discharge no, I was. Um, you know how dick, he was. She he jumped bounce on the dick. The dick is white. It's not clear. Yeah. Wet pussy is white. Some people say that's a creamer. We know that's not cream. Exactly. It's something wrong yeah. with that motherfucker. That mother got a cold. At you. <laughs> that coochie got a cold, mommy. And she put the video out on her own. She don't give a fuck. I really lost interest when I seen her eat the pizza. 
That was like, oh, with the music. Yes, Tunes, with the whole, the scarfing noise and all that. It was like, I'm done. Because first like, I was like, I like this. I like, I love no. Baltimore. Like, nah, nah, was that on, no. that was on the ball. Stop uh, exiting. Stop exiting. And then threw the chair at the door. Then threw the chair at the door. What's wrong with y'all? This is not y'all want to see me get into like a wrestling match with a bitch. Why you want to see me fight a young girl? I only got one round in me. And that's what I'm saying. If I fight a young bitch and we go past that first round, y'all better jump that bitch. Because after that first little 45 seconds, I'm done. Don't let this bitch get out on me because I'm going to poke up and then it's all thrown away. What's up? We're not letting you fight nobody. At all. You Crazy bruises. part is I wouldn't mind Jonathan coming on. We about to come to LA too. What's up, Johnny? <laughs> He's an Aquarius though. So now I'm like, damn, I think I like him. You think she's going to let him let him leave her? Let him go come to the podcast yeah. without her? Mm-hmm. Probably not. But if they came together, I would just talk to him. I'm not going to beat this girl down. She, she's very cute, you know? she got a lot of probably potential. I don't know. I don't see it. I just see her be ignorant as shit. I don't see why that's, like, potential. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, whatever. Y'all call a lot of shit talented. <laughs> like, I watch what y'all watching this is. Mm-hmm. Like, I be looking at the same thing y'all looking at is corny. Motherfuckers, they have a show, and the whole show would be... Yeah, I sucked three dicks one time and they came on my head. Or um yeah, I peed on them. Yeah, and it be, um my my dream it's just corny. It's crazy shit. like what with, with how people be with their reality like shit. Like shock factor shit. It's just like, whack. When reality even like when reality TV first started to become what it was and they gave us who they gave us, dumb people was stars, big stars before that. You feel me? Like Flavor Flav, Reggie. That's Ray, that was our Ray J. Ray, kind of, yeah. but then you gotta think the real world, the real rules. We did have people that were just fresh. But you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about yes. the, the... In the yeah. way it is now. Mm-hmm. It's like now you could do one reality show and then you'll do another reality show and then refer to it as a reality television OG. Uh, right? Yeah. A reality television OG is Tammy Robin. That's a yeah. reality television OG. Somebody For sure. This is 93. The nigga, mm-hmm. um... But it's like, this shit is not... It's Yo, listen. And I feel like it's just... The bar is just so low for what like a star is now. Yeah. It's like, don't even call me one day because this is bullshit. Especially if you're not, you can't, it's nothing that you do. It's not like you tell jokes and they laugh. You do stupid shit and people laugh at you. People laughing sure. at you. Why is that a cool thing? Like, mm-hmm. I just like, whatever. Um, but the No Jumper interview, if you haven't seen it, see it. It was horrible. She's being rude as shit, nasty as shit. Eventually, she gets put off the set. Really by blue, he put her off. His security yeah. was the one that picked her up and told her, "Listen." And he, he told her, "Get her, get her out of here, straight like this." Juice, he said, "Y'all slam her before I slam her." <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> he said that on camera. Yikes! Y'all better slam her before I slam her, fool. That's like the life they live in. Shit. The one episode I did watch of their show, the conversation was about calling him a bitch. She um. She called him a bitch ass nigga and he smacked her. That was that was bottom line. And then this it was just funny because this interview, that's was the question that pissed her off the most. Because they kept talking about that. And her whole thing was he hit me first, but she didn't want to say he hit mm-hmm. me first. And I don't know why. Cause like bitch, so they looking at you for doing shit. He hit me first. Y'all are in this. I can yeah. right? This is what y'all doing. So fuck it. But it's like certain things she knows she ain't got no business saying, so she didn't really say it. And um, but shit, she busted him in the back of his head. With a, um, With a honey bottle. He has glass in his head. Phelps is like, huh? For sure. Glass in his head. Cut on his head. Mind you, he so drunk shit. on the couch, like, looking like he, and she trying to get the fucking glass Why out of his head. Why is that cute to y'all? Maybe because y'all never fought a nigga to the death to the blood when you 20-something and you love him. I understand that's Maybe that's why I don't think it's funny. But whatever. Anyway... But, you know, welcome to 2023. That's what's entertainment. This Listen, niggas used to, when I was a kid, niggas used to complain about WB and talk about how WB had us black people looking terribly. Fast forward, the motherfucker sent y'all Mona Scott. And then niggas was like, oh, my God, I can't believe she's mm-hmm. doing this kind of stuff. And God damn it, here comes Zeus. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And they are horrible. Unless y'all want to call me to do a reunion thing. And then you're not that bad. People are growing their own decisions. <laughs> Until then disgusting what you're putting on television they just selling a lot of like horrible things like hate and anger and fighting are all they reality drama. shows only black shit yes do they got anything other than reality no i wonder if they'll ever diversify their content or they, they started just with stay. these sit downs so they would have like people from other because that's the thing a lot of these reality television stars that are there 
are from VH1. Some mm. of them, not a lot of them, but some of them have trickled down from VH1 because Zeus is giving them their own show. Mm-hmm. Like Bobby. Bobby, shout out to Bobby. That's my dog. Bobby was a side character on Love and Hip Hop. I think he might have moved up a little bit, but Zeus gave him an entire show. Mm-hmm. And these people are fighting to be his man. You know what I mean? So... Then they give they it, give internet niggas a chance too. Rolling Ray, Rolling Ray's an Instagrammer, just like I was prior to like podcasting. And they gave Rolling, they let him roll his nasty ass on a stage and spit on somebody with his dirty ass. Are they, okay, is it is it anything positive ever like that? They no, the converse, the sit downs were supposed to be squashing their beef, but they would get two people that didn't even have beef to squash. They would get two people that should never see each other again. Mm. Sit down in a room and squash the beef. It really turned into her security hold him, her security hold him, and then they would fist fight. They would like. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, that's the what scuffle it was. Shit, yeah. yeah, and they wouldn't really have conversations. Um, I think Bobby and Roland Ray had one, and they ended up working together later. But for the most part, it's just drama, bullshit. That's just you know, if they're into that, enjoy it, whatever. You're never gonna never hear that from me. I'm never doing a gossip corner. Never doing, you know, tea time with Mona. Like I'm just not doing that because I don't want nobody telling nobody I'm doing it to somebody's son that's 19. You know what I mean? They see me fighting this other bitch and she's 17. I done bust her ass in Target. I don't want y'all to know. Because I'm ignorant. I still get into ignorant things. It's one in the morning right now and I ain't going home. (laughs) Because I ain't got no kids. And anybody know. Phelps know. You know how many baby moms he fuck? (laughs) <laughs> when them bitches got no kids, listen, when you got babies in that motherfucker, you get loose as a goose. Don't get me started. I might never did nothing. I don't believe in none of that. I'm trying cocaine this weekend. Fuck that. I ain't got no kids. Hey, I, pay for, I pay for the babysitter. Right. He know. You pay for the sitter, you getting your dick sucked. You might get a threesome, boy. Yo, man, let me tell you something. Paying oh, for wow. the paying for, the baby mom slayer, nigga. Yeah, paying for a babysitter way better than paying for a section. Mm. That's a service you that. offer. Dropping jewels. Huh? That's a service you offer that come it, complimentary it, 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 to it, all it, baby mamas that you mess with. <laughs> <laughs> I'll baby. pay for the sitter. Real sidebar, real fast. Uh, I get to these voicemails. Back to he, he, he just got to go to bed early. To that couple, it's like a lot of um, it's a lot of evidence. So don't come in my DM with the or my messages with the you don't know. It's not true. It's not real. It's real. One hundred forty nine images, text messages, Snapchats, all kind of shit. Nurse examination on the kids. Like God damn, I don't even know some I had sloppy motherfuckers. Where's Shout smoke to Tom is Flies. fire? He sent it to me. Damn. Where's smoke yeah, is fire? Mm. You don't pull something like that out of thin air. Like, yeah, and it's an yeah. indictment. So they were under investigation for a little bit, and they tracked down the money. So you know it was serious. Um, mm. Damn. Yeah, I'm not even gonna repeat that. I'm talking about these kids got injuries from some of that stuff. That yeah, I saw that. that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's deep. Pray for the kids. It's a terrible situation. And I really, really hope all jokes aside, I know I make a lot of jokes, so I don't get my point out sometimes. I hope does not stop any loving gay ass parents from getting some kids because ain't nothing wrong with some with, with gay parents. I would be told, like if I had a family member that was getting rid of their kids or couldn't take care of their kids, and they were like, You want to take them on and I ain't really want them, and it was this gay ass couple fly shit that wanted them to take, or if they was gay and couldn't dress, take them children. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, gay. Shit, I'm gay, not against gay people raising children. Gay and can't dress is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't that what you posed to like nah not all the time um listen so boom um we're gonna do the um this uh goddamn voicemail i look rough i promise to look good next week y'all love y'all but i have a cute hoodie on and my glasses are burberry i have one earring on you motherfuckers ain't tell me that you got an earring on i ain't know they're just two one. different ones they're just different child right. you got a stud and a hoop Definitely. That's That's not, peep peep like Don't take it off now. Definitely didn't peep that. <laughs> Hi, Mona. I go only see one happier question. face though. What if after you've been on a couple of amazing dates with a guy, you go to his crib for the first time? Now this is your first time coming to his crib, and it smells like it smells like dog. Or you go to his bathroom, and it's dirty. Like one time I came to this dude's house, and the shower was black. Mm. I don't understand how to, the proper way or the nice way to get out of that type of relationship. I'll just like ghost the nigga. Like, is there a proper way of saying like mm. your fucking house stinks or nigga you're dirty as fuck? She doesn't have a question. I'm sorry if I'm talking loud. 
Where I'm talking I think she's talking at me because my, she... my little nigga house is a little dirty sometimes. <laughs> what would I do is sit in that motherfucker, get that shit over and sit on that couch, girl. I ain't the neatest bitch in, uh, in the closet. The fuck? I was, if it smelled like dog. I mean, the dog is a little extreme, but, you know, dirty ass First bachelor. All, I've seen so many. Get up out of there still... before you get sick. You hear me? You know, all types of infectious shit living in there. Get up out of there. Shit living in there. And Mona talked that shit. Mona, you know what Mona do the next day? I didn't have Phelps in some houses. And you know, and you know what she do? Nah, you I know what? I didn't have Phelps in some houses. I ain't going to say nothing. Because I'm going <laughs> <laughs> to say dog. is. All I'm gonna, roll with me. All I'm going to say is that motherfucker tell me the truth a lot once it's just me and her. You hear me? And we're going to leave it at that. <laughs> I mean, I guess I don't know. It's up to you. Whatever you like, go to his house. I don't, you know, I don't know. Boys are dirty. I don't well, clean it then, like, motherfucker. Right. And I'll clean niggas. That's house your man's one. clean it. Yeah, I'll clean, I'll clean the nigga house that I Same. like. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Start him off. Then if he's dirty, I begin. Then you pack him up. Like, then all right, you know. yeah. He yeah. probably don't care that much about her, anyways. Because I because he's not even trying to straighten. Niggas, niggas, niggas do a fast like, clean real what? quick when they know they about to get nah, something. Nah, if you're tough, black bro, you know. Tough, black is crazy. Yeah, you can't do that fast. That's not a. Fans. Nah, that, you, that, you been like that. You gotta that's spray too, some that's shit on that. that. Shit. Nah, yeah, you nah. right though. Definitely hit the Fuck bathroom that. quick. Little ten, like, fifteen. Niggas, niggas down. do a quick clean up real quick Black when they know somebody coming bull, over. Put all your clothes in the, in, the, in the dirty hamper yeah. real quick. Get them out of the way. Make the bed up. You Black clean. tub is right. vacuum. We out, we bro. That's nasty as fuck with the black tub. I don't give a fuck how oh no great everything else in your house is, but that black tub is crazy. Somebody else black tub is. When you go to somebody else's shit, it gotta be a little bit cleaner than yours. Cause your shit is your dirt. You a little, you a little familiar yeah. with it. That's yeah, why like, I always got flops. I need to no know that you I care go. that I came over here. Yeah. Like what the fuck? That's why I said he don't, don't care. Be like that. Because niggas will clean the what? place. Like it ain't gonna be like a deep clean, but like Phelps said, throw some sh- some clothes in a hamper. If she come sweep back, some it was shit under enough. the bed. If like she come back, it was clean enough. That's how you know. <laughs> <laughs> with the black tub, she said, how she going to get out the relationship with the black tub? The first time I seen the tub, it was over. It was done. I can't do no black that's tub, you, baby. That's, a, that, that's, that's the, where you wash your ass at. What are we talking you, about? That's how you know you at the bottom of the pussy hole. You hear me? First of she all, taking these, that shit. These DMs are crazy. This was another, my ex is your twin. Look at the twin. Just a piece of her. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one, man. We can't do that now. Our shit's too popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We too. Versus the first one. Look at my twin. My ex look just like you. I'm so tired oh of y'all God. niggas. Your ex don't look nothing like me, nigga. Not That's even, like the third time a motherfucker did never that. Close. Not oh even my close. God, he's laughing hard as shit. Unless Let me I'm see this poop. picture. Unless I'm poop. Yeah, I'm crying. Never close, he's laughing hard as y'all shit. Y'all niggas always capping with. I used to mess with this girl look just like you. No, you didn't, nigga. Not even close. No, you didn't, nigga. What? That's not even close. I told this nigga you was a fucking what? lie, nigga. He gonna say no, I'm not. But now that I got your attention, I'm a fucking disrespectful for that. You still got, you still, ugly, but she don't look like you, you still got your Patreon. Oh, take this phone. Yeah, yeah. You, hey, Folks so, got real tears in his eyes. You, you just need to post it on the Patreon. <laughs> I put it on my Patreon. Tell people to subscribe. Cause they wrong for that. They wrong for that. Yeah, I put that on my Patreon. It's a couple. It's yo, I get that a lot. <laughs> I get that a lot. But I mean, that, that wasn't even is. close though. Shit, at like, least the last girl they tried to say that about, she is at least light skinned. Yeah, that's what I said. At least she's the same shade. Like, like, she was trash. Like she's she was definitely trash. trash. Yo, she she trash, trash too. I ain't gonna hold you. People really be saying shit to you because they know. Just fucking <laughs> with me. Just fucking with me. Like she looks nothing like her at all. Like not not even close. Not, not even. even. The last joint that looked like the Mona was when they said when it was the old lady in the, the courtroom with the dread. The gay lady. Yeah. That looked like me. But other than that, them Jones don't be there. That was funny. <laughs> oh my god. Real Whoever tears. said that was fucking hilarious. Um, listen, so um my dark side of DM, I had two of them. The first one was a girl said, Mona, I love you. I took your advice. I fucked the guy with the bendable sneaks. I've been amazingly happy ever since. <laughs> I want to tell you, I want to tell you, sis, good thing that you listen and like the rest of these whores. Um, I'm sure you're enjoying saving money's on birthday gifts and shit. You get this nigga new balance track suits with the newbies to go with it. <laughs> Very um very good, yeah, very discount. It's giving very cheap Christmas gift, but you're welcome, love. Ben, um, maybe some good name brand bendable sneak shit too. I'm talking about the ones that come on the. Thing. You're talking about Skechers or Dicks. 
You like you go to just say Skechers and shit. No, like the kind of place where you can get dress shoes and sneaks. That's where you get your sneaks. I know from. what you're talking. <laughs> famous, famous footwear. Famous footwear, <laughs> nigga. That's what you want. Uh, um, <laughs> that's a wild. Word. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mona. I love your show. I love Phelps Love Dry. It gets me through my boring ass corporate job. But last episode, it's episode 70, Redemption Day, y'all got a little heavy with the drug talk. And I know it's for entertainment, but right before you mentioned Trump and how he uses his platform, I hope you guys, you and Phelps, you and Phelps, um, to be exact, know how important it is how you use your platform. And you could be a little more cognizant. 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 And I guess that's more conscious, right? Mm-hmm. About... The conversation, since a lot of younger people may be listening and they're impressionable. Okay, first off, if we get you and you're born ass through your corporate job, <laughs> then and what? you like some of it, you're not going to like all of it, Brenda. Okay, turn it the fuck <laughs> off. You think we have a drug talk for entertainment? No, we have a drug talk because we did a lot of drugs between the two of us, nigga. Sometimes we can together <laughs> do drugs together now, nigga. We grown, motherfucker. You're not watching, though. You know, I ain't doing shit for clicks, nigga. This is me. This is my life. Mm-hmm. I'm a mom that when them niggas go, I enjoy a little drug from here here. You know what I mean? I did some drugs today. Shit. You up here with corporate. And job how many no times we how many times we gotta say fuck them kids? Many times. Like, what's up? And that let me say, fuck them kids. I'm watching. glad you said that. It's not just our kids. Fuck your kids too. Absolutely. I'm not up trying to do like that. Like I'm not doing that. I'm not living that way. I'm not yeah. gonna ever have that on me. Kids are impressionable. Y'all shouldn't be watching this shit. Exactly. You do drugs if you want to. It's a circle of people. Dre don't do no motherfucking drugs. And you don't you don't do everything around he, your kids. He's not You don't do everything around your kids neither. You the same. Like, this wasn't even about my kids. It's yeah. about the kids of the nation. Can yeah. y'all, y'all watch your platforms. I know you're doing it for entertainment. That's where you're wrong, bitch. We're telling real life stories. This is not for entertainment. You just happen to be here. God forbid me and Phelps to talk like this if y'all weren't here. Yeah. Same arguments and everything. I kid you not. You can cut the cameras off right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I'm never doing that. I'm never giving that. And if you yeah. feel that way, you shouldn't watch it. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the advice. Go back to your boring ass life and stop watching it. That's always an option. And even like thanks for the DM. Even no us thanks. as kids, we, we kids are smart enough to where they can separate the good. They could take the good out of the. You feel me? To me, what kid is watching this? It shouldn't be. This is not shouldn't something that be. a kid would watch. In my opinion, I'm wait, sorry. wait. What we calling a kid though? That's another thing. I mean, because just... niggas in high school, time flies. I was on the phone with a high schooler. They really watch. Okay, I could see the high schoolers watching. I, I could maybe. But I would and if I was in high school, I would not be watching some old loud bitch talk shit all day. I don't know. I just think certain topics sex Let me know do y'all watch kids. Sex, drugs, stuff like that. They're, it's unavoidable that they gonna interact with that, For hear sure. about that. Like So you rather not, no talk or a person like me that'll say, yo, if you gonna try Xanax, never do it at a party because the, the guy might rape you. I keep it a thousand about these drugs. Mm-hmm. We talked about where would you get drugs safe if you're interested. And that's more realistic than yeah, never talking about exactly. it. Exactly. True. Your fucking kid might have figured out a way to buy drugs in a safer manner. Because they were going to buy them anyway because they want to try them. Mm-hmm. Right. Ugh, Give, this is ridiculous. They need information. You say so much about yourself when you say for my boring corporate job. Can't stop the bag. The <laughs> job is not the only thing that's boring, Chiquita. You're boring yourself. And that's fine, you know. But don't come try to like, you know, turn my keep shit down, Keep listening, keep tapping in. Or don't watch it all. I've always been that person. You can go. You know what I'm saying? I used to think sure. sometimes I would start blocking some of the people that I would lose followers. And I was totally fine with it. <laughs> I blocked 10,000 niggas tonight if I could. If I could all jam them together. Like if somebody <laughs> could put all the names in a bucket, all these people feel this way, right? Or all, like, let's say they could put it all together. All the girls that tweeted, I get peed on after they heard Karicha say it. <laughs> I would literally block all of them right now because they deserve it. A mass block. A mass blocking, mm-hmm. if I could. What are we manifesting today? I follow a weightlifter. There's a couple things I've seen in the internet real quick. The girl, the ultimate manifester, I would let her have her on a podcast, that went to the door and said, can I, the, the famous words, can I taste your chocolate pudding bay? Oh, my God. The one that was smoking, the, 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 the bogey, the joint, you sent me, Juice. You sent Key, it to me. I got a question. The bitch in the ring. I got a question. Oh, 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 Keep oh, it real. Oh, donh. Don't hold back. You the yes. hottest thing on the news. Yes. Can I taste your chocolate her. pudding, babe? Love her. Come on, let's do it. My nipples is like gumdrops. My, my nipples <laughs> soft like gumdrops. 
the hottest thing her, on the news. She pulls her hoodie up at one point, pulls her yes, titties out. I titties love her energy. Out. I want to approach a neighbor like that right away. The next time a neighbor I'm attracted to, I'm knocking on the door. I'm doing something like that, real close to the thing, nose to nose to the to the hole. Let me taste your chocolate pudding bag. I had two niggas call me and say, "Let me taste your vanilla pudding." Since the video came out, and you know what's whack? You know what's whack? You know what's whack? What? Women could have courage and do that, and it's okay. A nigga can't do that. They calling the cops. But you, she was for- very much pushy, and she should have. Somebody should have called the cops on her too, though, because she was really like rapey a little. <laughs> yes, you know very what I mean? much. I'm gonna come in there. So long, 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 she long, even let's told put her, that out she even there. Told her right, in long, a second, how she w- thought about grabbing her yeah, when she's yes, yeah. and she said, "Girl, you grab me, you gonna get I'm shot." Shoot said, oh, you. Don't shoot Say, me. You gonna throw me? <laughs> don't shoot me. Did you see it, Dre? I put clips of yeah, it. Saw, one. Yeah. Alarming. You got to see the ten minute clip. Oh it's my god! It's ten minutes of this. I couldn't get it. Oh, this nigga get at it. this girl door ring camera on the ring go, camera, giving her everything she got. I want to make love to you. I know the kids. And aggressive she said, We neighbors. Speaking we we drugs, supposed you to think do this. She was on something. It was crazy. No, she's think, like mentally ill. She, yeah, she, she said, "You know, I'm a little bit ill, a little bit." Yeah, she was slow a little. Not slow. She was on her side. You know what I'm saying? She on the spectrum, Dre. Oh god. And she was just horny, like she was legit horny, and she said. Oh, I'm horny. Dang. Even said, even said she fucked the other neighbor. Listen, she said the other neighbor. Try, I seen him. His try. dick was hard. His dick was poking out his pants. She I said, said I made him clean his house. He got roaches. <laughs> he got though. roaches. She said, I got roaches too. She said, Do you got roaches? She said, Hell no. She said, Oh shit, that's the good life. Teach me how to live a good life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. I loved it. Um, and I want y'all to check my girl out on TikTok. My favorite TikTok. Um, my favorite TikTok. Fuck you, fuck your mom, fuck you, fuck your mom. She did Dr. Phil one time, this TikTok I'm talking about. And in the first five, first like five second clip, he's like, how does it, is it? Because she has Tourette's. How is it being had Tourette's? And when they, when they clip off, she goes, you're bald, you're bald. Because she said <laughs> what she's thinking a lot. Is that the one where you sent me and she was cooking? And, they, and she was like trying to cook, but she yeah. couldn't. Yes. Yeah, okay. Baylin Dupree. Shout out, shout out to Baylin Dupree. And y'all need to check Baylin Dupree out. I love her. We're manifesting me to actually work out. I'm in a good mental space about working out. I've been thinking about it a lot. I dusted off the bike and I follow a weightlifter. That every time she lifts the weight, she goes, I love her. She's a lesbian. And she goes, you're not fucking working like we working. Her arms are this big. They just sit like this. <laughs> when she lifts it, up, 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 up. I can't. I want manifest. Oh she uh, will beat the shit out of you and Drake. Erica Badu. Who? She will beat the shit out of both of you. Not the who. No, who? no bullshit. You and Dre will get your asses with by she, this girl. The whole time I'm talking about by this girl, right? Nah, she still got a coochie. Kick. Don't. Uh, listen, now she come on the show and she want to fuck, pick, fucking pick. I can see her picking you up doing this. Kick her right in the pussy. That shit's still sensitive. Let's end mm. it on that note. We are manifesting me working out. Up, 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 lifting my 20 pound weights and doing that. Up, 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 up. So much Aquarius season. I'm going to comb my hair next week. Love you, gals. Don't forget, my nipples are like gumdrops. They soft. <laughs> Sweet low. Cut to sweet. Don't cut to sweet. <laughs>